The Dakar Desert Rally SnowRunner Trucks DLC has been announced. Here's what you get for the money, plus details of the latest 1.7 update. Remember I mentioned the Dakar Desert Rally SnowRunner Trucks expansion? Well, it has now arrived, so I thought I would give you every truck, plus all the details of the latest 1.7 update on console and PC. Included as part of the Season Pass, or available alone for £9, $10 or equivalent, the SnowRunner Trucks expansion includes five new trucks. The closeness of Sabre Interactive and Sabre Porto means you can drive the TUZ-16, TUZ-108, TUZ-420, Zix 605R and the R87. Though it would have been nice to see the Tega King, the Zix 605R is a SnowRunner monster, and I know there are many fans of the R87 and its six sizable wheels. Sadly, you cannot tune these vehicles in the new SnowRunner events, but you can elsewhere. These SnowRunner DLC specific events are involving as you battle tough weather conditions, reduced visibility and gruelling routes, whether in sport or professional. If only there were more of them given the price. Said nine new events in update 1.7 are, if you will excuse my likely terrible pronunciation, Bisha, Jeddah, Al Sharaf, Gale, Al Ula, Sigri in sport mode, and Jeddah, Gale, and Shigri in professional. Yes, no new simulation experiences included this time. As part of the 1.7 update available to all, Sabre Porto has also added a steering wheel wizard. Nothing to do with Gandalf, this handy option is a step-by-step -step solution for when you want to connect steering wheels and other peripherals. Speaking of which, additional steering wheel support has been provided. The full list is the Simu Cube 2 Pro, Fnatic GT DD Pro, Logitech Pro, Hori Racing Wheel Apex, Hori FF Racing Wheel DLX, and Hori Racing Wheel Overdrive. If your steering wheel supports it, a maximum wheel rotation of 2,520 degrees can be set. Good for those who crave a more realistic experience in certain vehicles. Even better, the cockpit camera is said to simulate the exact degree of steering you are performing. Not only that, there is a camera field of view FOV option to configure exactly what you see in the cockpit, dashboard hood and front cameras. Then there is handling style, which is said to allow a more challenging experience. Sabre Porto has also added more classes of AI vehicles in professional and simulation to add to the realism, while all vehicles are included in the ranking during these same two game modes. Auto driving in DSS zones has also been removed, so be careful. If using a quad or bike, where you do not have a co-pilot, Dakar Desert Rally now only updates your odometer upon reaching a waypoint. Simulation mode has also seen the waypoint's radius adjusted in size to increase that hardcore navigation experience. Lastly, expect less navigator repetition, improvements to wheel life for more realistic flat tyres, and there is now a button to refresh the leaderboard information. Now that Stacker Desert Rally has free roam and various after-launch updates, it is a lot easier to recommend if you fancy a racing game with a unique vibe. I have been busy updating my forthcoming review, apologies for the delay. On that note, subscribe, like and enjoy some free biscuits in the comments. Until next time, Take care. Bye. Left, cap 83, leave valley, danger two, bumps. Two kilometers, prepare to turn left. Attention, danger one, bumps between rocks.